Welcome to DOS Geek. I've got a secret to share with you. Come in. Come in a little closer. A little closer. I found the perfect distribution. The perfect one. Now, we all know, as Linux users, that there are so many exciting things happening, whether it's happening in Fedora, whether it's happening in Arch, whether it's happening in Ubuntu, and a lot of times those awesome things are not in sync. One distro is doing something really cool you want to check out, and the other distro is doing this other thing, or this other distro has access to get this package working, but this distro doesn't, and, well, that's what distro hopping is. That's why you see a lot of us in the Linux world jumping to all these different distros. But what if I told you those days are gone? Because somebody has solved this problem. Somebody has fixed, has given us the antidote to distro hopping. And that distro that's going to rule them all is Blend OS. That's what I want to talk to you today about because I've been spending the last few weeks in Blend OS and this is not overhyped. Well, I mean, it may be because I am overhyped about it, but I'm not overhyping how amazing this operating system is because it has everything that I've been wanting in a distro because it combines them all like a blender. Like, can it blend? Yes, it can blend. So you get an arch base but you have an immutable operating system, much like SteamOS has done it. And we know how stable SteamOS is on the Steam Deck. And so you have this immutable OS that you can roll back so you have all of the cutting edge pieces of Arch, but an immutable system. Plus, if I wanna use Fedora, I can have Fedora there in a container. And even from the terminal can install Fedora applications all over top of this utilizing DNF. If I want to use Ubuntu, I can do that too. Alma Linux, sure, throw that in. Really all of the main core distros blended together, available in one. The AUR with so many amazing packages available to it, yeah, let's throw that in the blender as well. And that's how you come up with one of the greatest distros, I think, this year. Possibly the distro that will solve all distro hopping, Blend OS. So let's get into what makes this distro so amazing in my experience for the last few weeks utilizing this in production and having absolute amazing time. In fact, I'm in it right now recording this with all this fancy audio equipment, utilizing pipe wire, all these things works out of the box. No problems at all. Oh, and by the way, one of the issues with immutable distros is sometimes getting the drivers for things like the proprietary NVIDIA drivers. They have a system for that so you can install those packages as well so you're not left out in the cold. This is what I'm talking about when we take all the amazing work from the open source community, just combine it into one package here. Is it possible? It is, and it's here. Let's get into it. So let's talk about first how difficult this operating system is to install because Certainly, if you have a distro that's a blend of every distro, this is going to be a mess, right? It's, the installer is going to be messed up. It's going to be really difficult. It's going to be like an arch-like experience or something else. Or you've got to sit there in the command line and you don't have a GUI and all that. Wrong! It's got a beautiful GUI, one of the most simplistic installers you could think of. Very, very well done. In fact, really surprised at how simplistic they were able to make it. So you download your ISO, you write it to a USB drive, you boot to it, it takes you through a beautiful GUI that just makes sense, and you install the OS and reboot into it. That's it, you're done. So installing, very simple. Once you get into the distro, this is where things get really exciting. Now you can choose what desktop environment you want. So let's say you want XFCE, you want KDE, you want Cinnamon, Gnome, any of those that you want, no problem. Choose your, your desktop environment. But let's say it is a mutable OS that you want to change your desktop environment. That's probably not so easy, right? Wrong again. You can switch your desktop environment any which way you want, and you can bounce back and forth at your pleasure. This is some of the amazing things that Blend OS allows you to do because not only are you able to switch, but it doesn't carry over all of the junk that happens when you switch desktops in a normal environment. So sure, you could switch desktop environments in Fedora or Ubuntu, but you know if you go from something like KDE to GNOME, you're gonna have lots of leftover files and packages and, and duplicate file managers and things that you have to clean up. Not in Blend OS. In Blend OS, when you're switching between these, 
doesn't matter. It's going to automatically clean up all those things, keep all your files where they're supposed to be. So all the videos you created, text files, all that stuff will still be there. Doesn't erase it, but you only have the file manager, say Dolphin, that's meant for KDE or for GNOME, you only have the Nautilus file manager. So you don't have to deal with all the duplication and mess that comes in other distros. But Blend OS becomes even more awesome when we talk about apps. And I mentioned a little bit about this in the beginning, but let me show you how it works. So not only can I go in here and create containers for Fedora or for Ubuntu or for Alma Linux or any of these distros that you see listed, but I can also create systems or ties to these containers so that in just the one terminal, I can use DNF, I can use Yay for the AUR, I can use apt, I can utilize any of those commands from one terminal, or I could launch them in their container terminal and do that work there. But the system, the ability, the developers to think like, hey, let's tie it all together and integrate it so that you can utilize it in one terminal and make it really simple through a GUI to do so, just absolutely brilliant. And I mentioned all the distros that you can add in, but did you know you can add in the Android stores as well? So if you want F-Droid and you want some Android apps, you can do that in here as well. You can create a container for that and you can install some of your Android applications. Absolutely brilliant. One of the things too that allowing distros like Ubuntu, Debian, Rocky, Alma, Kali, uh, Rawhide, all to be blended into one allows you to do things with distros that typically you shouldn't. For instance, Kali Linux is not meant to be an everyday distro. It is meant for penetration testing and security and privacy testing and those type of things, but it is not meant to be run as an everyday distro. Many people do it, but even on Kali's website, they tell you not to do that. They don't want you utilizing this as a daily. It's, that's not what it's meant for. But in this system, because I can install Kali into a container, now I can utilize it for those purposes. I can either remove that container or keep it containerized in itself, keep it on my system forever if I'm continuing to do pen testing and those type of things without having to have the security compromises that come with having a system with those kind of tools that are on it by default. Again, just another brilliant way that they've integrated everything together. And here is the beauty too. If you go into one of these containers, for instance, let's say I'm in Blend OS and I set up a container for Ubuntu. And if I go into Ubuntu and launch the terminal and go into my downloads or I go into my video folder, all of the stuff that I've recorded in Blend OS is also available, meaning all those files are still viewable in the other container systems. So I don't have to sit there and try to move files between different containers and file systems and things like that. So it's not creating this world or container which has no view into anything else. They're interconnected and that to me is absolutely amazingly convenient to be able to actually utilize this to its full capability. So now let's talk about some of the apps that I've tried to utilize in this. Gaming works perfectly. I've played CSGO, I've played Borderlands. I am on AMD, so that's important to note. So I didn't have to install any additional packages for NVIDIA and things. Thankfully, it's one of the advantages of being an AMD and Linux, but I was able to game with CSGO, Borderlands, had no problem. The frame rates were fantastic. The games ran wonderfully. So gaming is no problem on this as well. Able to install Steam, no problem. Additionally, OBS and Pipewire. Pipewire is very important for me. On the Destination Linux podcast, I'm piping in and mix minusing audio from multiple sources to bring our patrons into the show live while we're recording it. And with Blend OS, it has Pipewire by default. I was able to use QWP Graph and wire in all of the different audio from various places and ready to go. And it's gonna integrate all of those software applications right into your main menu. So you're not having to go to all these various containers to say launch Steam because you installed that in Ubuntu, but then Blender you installed in Fedora, so you gotta launch that. No, right in my main menu are all my applications. As soon as I install them in any of those containers, they become available to me to launch from the main menu. Wonderful, I mean, it's just freaking brilliant. I love Blend OS. Can you tell I love Blend OS? I love Blend OS. So that's it, my review of Blend OS, it is the infinity gauntlet of distributions. Every infinity stone represents a different distro and you have them all within your control. Just like I mentioned on Destination Linux, latest version coming out, we all talk about Blend OS and a little sneak peek here, everyone's been blown away by it. So if you haven't been excited for a Linux distro in a while, 
go check this one out. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. Even if it's something there that you're going to say, maybe it's not for me or I do this very specific thing, you're still going to admire and appreciate the awesome work that's here and what this could mean for distro hopping in the future because I think this immutable OS, number one, is the future of Linux distributions. And I think the way Blend OS is doing it is so brilliant, I couldn't imagine an idea that's better than this. It's just awesome. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you checked out Blend OS or what is your favorite immutable OS? I know there's a lot of vanilla out there and other people utilizing silver blue and different immutable operating systems that they're starting to love. But Blend OS was the first one to get me to really get excited about Immutable OS. This is the future, folks. I'm loving it. Let me know in the comments what you think. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains.